If you think about a swimming pool, and you think about the tubes that are floating in the swimming pool, and those are the cells in the body, the swimming pool itself, the water buoys the cells, it kind of disperses the cells, it moves the cells, so that fluid has a lot of effect on the inner tubes that are floating in there. We study the proteins that are in that fluid, so to speak, around the cells. This fluid that the cells float in can be affected by inflammation, by infection, by genetic disorders. Um, those are the main things that we kind of focus on when we're looking at those diseases in humans which can be applicable to animals. All in all, I think understanding how the biology, how the chemistry, how the complexity of that is just a little bit of a peak underneath the cover, so to speak, that's exciting. Getting the result, and sometimes not getting the result you want, but getting a black and white result, a clean result is, is, the, is important, and that's a success on the daily scale. The long-term success is obviously publishing it, getting it accepted by your peers. These studies may not seemingly like tomorrow lead to a cure or a test or something like that, but it's a step in the process that sometimes makes a bound and sometimes makes a step. So understanding that concept of science is important and understanding that there's so many things in biology and chemistry and medicine that we don't understand and that we can influence so many different types of diseases through our research due to effects of this melu on the cells that it, it's, it's exciting.